Chapter 11 You must love the Lord your God and obey all His requirements, laws, regulations, and commands. Listen, I am not talking now to your children who have never experienced the discipline of the Lord your God or seen His greatness and awesome power. They weren't there to see the miraculous signs and wonders He performed in Egypt against Pharaoh and all his land. They didn't see what the Lord did to the armies of Egypt and to their horses and chariots, how He drowned them in the Red Sea as they were chasing you, and how He has kept them devastated to this very day. They didn't see how the Lord cared for you in the wilderness until you arrived here. They weren't there to see what He did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, a descendant of Reuben, when the earth opened up and swallowed them, along with their households and tents and every living thing that belonged to them. But you have seen all the Lord's mighty deeds with your own eyes. Therefore be careful to obey every command I am giving you today, so you may have strength to go in and occupy the land you are about to enter. If you obey, you will enjoy a long life in the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors and to you, their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land you are about to enter and occupy is not like the land of Egypt from which you came, where you planted your seed and dug out irrigation ditches with your foot as in a vegetable garden. It is a land of hills and valleys with plenty of rain, a land that the Lord your God cares for. He watches over it day after day throughout the year. If you carefully obey all the commands I am giving you today, and if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul, and if you worship Him, then He will send the rains in their proper season so you can harvest crops of grain, grapes for wine, and olives for oil. He will give you lush pasture land for your cattle to graze in, and you yourselves will have plenty to eat. But do not let your heart turn away from the Lord to worship other gods. If you do, the Lord's anger will burn against you. He will shut up the sky and hold back the rain, and your harvest will fail. Then you will quickly die in that good land the Lord is now giving you. So commit yourselves completely to these words of mine. Tie them to your hands as a reminder, and wear them on your forehead. Teach them to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are away on a journey, when you are lying down and when you are getting up again. Write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates, so that as long as the sky remains above the earth, you and your children may flourish in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors. Be careful to obey all the commands I give you. Show love to the Lord your God by walking in His ways and clinging to Him. Then the Lord will drive out all the nations in your land, though they are much greater and stronger than you. Wherever you set your feet, the land will be yours. Your frontiers will stretch from the wilderness in the south to Lebanon in the north, and from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you, for the Lord your God will send fear and dread ahead of you, as He promised you, wherever you go in the whole land. Today I am giving you the choice between a blessing and a curse. You will be blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. You will receive a curse if you reject the commands of the Lord your God and turn from His way by worshipping foreign gods. When the Lord your God brings you into the land to possess it, you must pronounce a blessing from Mount Gerizim and a curse from Mount Ebal. These two mountains are west of the Jordan River in the land of the Canaanites who live in the Jordan Valley near the town of Gilgal. They are located toward the west, not far from the oaks of More. For you are about to cross the Jordan to occupy the land the Lord your God is giving you. When you are living in that land, you must be careful to obey all the laws and regulations I am giving you today.